Good evening. We're at the Rubicon, which is uh, an event center and the wonderful home we will have for a couple of days. It's a converted schoolhouse that is just adorable. Um, I said earlier, it, it seems to be a blend of both colonial and Europe design. Each room has its own fireplace because it's so remote that children would travel many kilometers to come to school here. So, makes it all the more special. I went and looked at the front, has stone arches on both sides, it's just amazing. So I'm thrilled that this is our second location and I will try to absorb every minute. All right, so yeah, good morning. I would just like to say hello to James. Um, we're hunting on James' property uh, in Rhodes in the Eastern Cape. Hunting for, for Val Rebuck, Mountain Rebuck. Um, it's very fresh this morning, started at minus eight. It's a little bit warmer now, so James, Thank you for the opportunity to hunt here. I think it's going to be a really exciting couple of days. Um, new adventures for Opa. So, all the best, Opa. James, thank you. This is just Enjoy. a marvelous place. So what we're going to do is we're going to stand on the edges here and look through all the valleys here if we can't spot a Val Rebuck or Mountain Rebuck. I didn't see a male, but they ran over those snows, over there. The problem is if they see movement, they just run because they're not used to anything. Just amazing territory. Even if I never see a Reebok or a Reedbuck, just being here looking over this creation is just awesome. Yeah, so the wind's a little bit bad. So the mountain rootbuck was just below us, about, I would say, 300 yards. But way to our left, probably six, 700 yards, there was wall rootbuck, and they smelled us. And they set the alarm, so the mountain rootbuck just took off. So we've seen Valerie Buck and Melton Red Buck. We'll try for, yeah, we've got an hour sunlight left. Let's see, hopefully it works.
Second morning in the Eastern Cape. I don't know, it looks very high and very steep where we are. So let's see what the mountains provide. So we have some baboons. We'll see if we can get a chance on one. Oh, just, just under him. I took a shot, but shot just a little bit low. Made him a little nervous and he went over the top. Looking forward to Reebok, uh, Mountain Reebok or Val Reebok as we go along. Impressive, impressive scenery. All right, so we've seen some Val Reebok on the other side. We're just gonna go down and try and get that 200 yards and see if we can get a shot. But we've seen, seen a lot of Reebok. Everything, so let's see. and we have to take maybe a chance because we won't get closer. You aim about this much high above him, about a foot. Okay. All right, so we had mountain red buck, valley buck, and a big, big baboon male. Uh, between 400 and 300 yards and we pushed it a little bit to just get under 300 but we got in their comfort zones and they took off but it was a really true a very nice wall reebok ram and a mountain reedback ram we got close <laughs> oh that was exciting Great shot, great shot, great shot. Reload, reload, great shot. Thank you, James. Well done, well done. Yeah, he's down, he's not worth them. That's a magnificent 
Mountain Reed Park pa. Here is a magnificent mountain Reed Park in Opa. High in the mountains. Rock, rock solid. Even secondary growth. Nice points. Old, old terrain. All right, Opa. Day and a half. Hard, hard hunting up in the mountains. We are a little bit lower down today, but I think we had like 7,000 feet above sea level. We were yesterday close to 9,000. Um, thank you for sticking with us. We still have a Valerie buck left. Um, but congratulations on one magnificent mountain reed buck high up in the mountains. You shot him perfect, perfectly. Um, 110 yards, I think that's something to be proud of. We did a great job getting close oh, to them. You and James led me right to it. Um, I was able to duck walk instead of crawl yeah. today. And this is just a magnificent animal. After we shot the mountain reed buck, James spotted uh, a Valerie buck, a very, very nice lone ram. So we're just going to see if we can get to him. He's about now 600 yards away. If we can half the distance, we're good. of the dark ground, standing broadside. There he's running, he's running, he's running, he's running there. Just in front of him. Far now. Oh yeah. Oh, that was close. Let's leave him there. This is a knife my brother Tim made me 30 years ago. Yes. So That's for each beautiful. animal, I'm yeah placing it on you. That's beautiful. Cheers to all the wonderful staff that is helping me. Good evening, it's the evening of the 14th. This is the wonderful room that I've had for uh, the nights I've been here at Rhodes. This is a converted classroom. The school closed about 50 years ago and farmers used to send their children many, many kilometers to the school. You can see the wonderful bed I've had. And because we're from a family of plumbers, I had to share this. This tub is the biggest that I've ever seen. And there I am. <laughs> Completely covered in water. All right, um, James, Daniel, Yuanay, thank you guys. Um, yes, this was really awesome. I think all of us enjoyed it so, so much. And, um, the area is something special. Um, you guys are special. You went out of your way 
Um, the food was fantastic. Last night at a hotel, if anyone is in the roads, the hotel <laughs> is definitely a place to be. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much, Daniel, for you offering your little holiday to hunt a couple of days. <laughs> James, you leaving the farm behind. Thank you so much, guys. We really appreciate all of it. Pleasure, guys. And then hope thank to you. see you guys soon. Yes. Definitely. Thank you. And well you. done again. Yeah, well done. Well well thank you, guys. Thank you very much. much. You did well good. Done. This was added by Yanni because I asked to see as many different parts of South Africa as I could on my trip. When I read the itinerary, I wasn't sure about this one, but I'm glad, so glad that he did. The scenery, the uh, majesty of those mountains was unbelievable. My new friends that took such good care of us, uh, even filled my Opa cup <laughs> repeatedly. <laughs> um, yeah, today we're off and we are heading towards Sandy Mount for Rismith for the next leg of the hunt. And we'll spend a week there hunting sable, buffalo, and mountain reedbuck, lechwe. And then, Opa, you've got a whole big list to shoot. I do. <laughs> yes. I hope you've got enough ammo left, Opa. <laughs> <laughs>this is our third leg of the safari sandy mount park in forest smith in the free state uh, this is yeah our main species here is buffalo and um, my yeah, own horse uh, on horse yes so yeah let's see what it provides <laughs> they're, they're mostly live <laughs> they're mostly you are too i'm yeah. too okay hi dan dan and, Jan, and Jan. I've heard a lot of good things about you, so oh I'm my expecting gosh. a lot. You can call me. <laughs>
I have dreamed of Cape Buffalo since I read magazines at my grandparents' house 59 years ago. We done. Dead <laughs> buffalo. We done. Dead buffalo. Okay, so tonight we're having some springbok medallions that we uh, from Bait. We have some sheep tails, which is just a little dressing on that. Some butternut with some with honey coated. It's butternut, honey coated butternut, and just some normal um, potato wedges. Dear Lord, thank you so much for bringing our guests safe here and the PHS. And would you please bless them tomorrow, where they're going to harvest some animals. Will you be with them? And we're doing it for you and the way you wanted to do. And we just want to say thank you for the food that we're going to enjoy tonight. Or I hope they're going to enjoy tonight. In your precious name. Amen. 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 So first morning in the Free State um, at Sandy Mount Park. Very, very nice morning. Not too cold. Looks like it's going to be a magnificent day. First day. Main thing, going to look for a buffalo, um, but we'll see what the bush provides. There is a list that still needs to get shot, but our main focus is going to be a proper Daga boy buffalo. So, Oops, good luck. Thank you. All the best, and let's see what the bush provides. I'm gonna leave the car here. We're gonna walk slowly down in the road, and if we get to the ridge, we'll be in distance so we can look nicely. It's difficult to say, they're all feeding down, but the one looks solid. To the road, I'll quickly run, get the car. Then they just went over here. It makes like a deep valley. The one bull is very, very nice that's in there. He was on the far right. 
That's why I wanted to move around and I didn't see these two young, young bulls sleeping under the tree. No, don't shoot, don't shoot. Good it, good it, good it, good it. Let's go see. Watch out for the holes. Wow! There he is, all tucked up under the branches. What a bull, Opa! Yo, yo, yo! Look the body size on this, Nyala. Look at the shape. Look at everything. Look here. Chevron. Yes. The striping, the main. Yeah, that's good. Congratulations. Thank I know you. it's one of your main yes. animals. Um, we've actually chased two out of three today. We started with buffalo uh, in the morning and then briefly in the afternoon, uh, buffalo gave us a slip in Yala was one of my three, the other being Sable. It's been a hard day hunting. Our main focus was buffalo. We made our last trip to see if we can't find buffalo at last light down the uh, river. And this big Nyala bull presents himself. We got off the car, we had a nice stalk. Um, the shot was about 120 yards and you shot him perfectly. So congratulations. 
on a magnificent Nyala. I've dreamed of these for 30 years. There's something about the mane, the chest hair, the spiral horn, the ivory tips, the stripes that just made it, it caught my eye. It's majestic and I've been blessed yet again. Wonderful. It's our second morning in Forty Smith. Um, it's actually a very lovely morning. Not that cold. Um, Main focus again this morning, definitely buffalo. Yesterday we had a very excitement day. Um, we've been on a couple of stalks, got on a couple, couple of time on the sticks, just, the, just the, the right bull didn't present itself. And um, we'll take it from there, Opa. So all the best for today. Thank Hope, you. Hopefully we can get an old buffalo for you. That would be wonderful. And um, yeah, otherwise we're looking for water buck and a very nice spring buck. So we've just seen some springbok just over the ridge here. We're gonna do a quick stalk. It looks like there's a couple of very nice ramps, so hopefully Opa can get one. One on the left side, lungs. Standing broadside. Great shot, Opa. Reload, reload. Oh, it's low. It's low. You're not gonna see a kudu like that again. Straight up the hill, look through the by, by through the scope. Can you see him? No. So you see the green tree here at the bottom before the hill starts, close to us. Okay. Um, is right behind that bush now. Right reload. It's going up, reload. It's 
So we were after the we wounded the springbok, we were on the blood trail and we came over the ridge and there was a big big kudu. Opa shot him but a little bit far back. I just went up the hill because it's very steep, followed on. We've got the kudu bull, he's down. Opa, so there's your kudu. What a magnificent kudu bull, Opa. Well thank you and thank you for providing all the backup that actually made it work. Oh, this is a magnificent kudu bull. Look at that. The mane, the horn. Ivory tip. Ivory tips. Dark face, Eastern Cape bull, dark face. And you'll see, here's your dots with the two stripes. Congratulations, Opa. Thank you. So if you watch from the tip straight down, you'll see the eye. So you can just hold him and look from the tip down his skull, you'll see the eye. Opa, we were on our way back for lunch and we bumped this magnificent Cape Kudu. This is really a very, very magnificent Kudu for this region. Um, it was a tough morning, we didn't see what we were looking for. At, at lunch, we found this magnificent Kudu bull. We've got him. Um, so congratulations on a magnificent kudu, Opa. Thank you. God has created many magnificent animals and most of them apparently are in South Africa because I see them every day. This was a gift unexpected and I'm without words to say thank you to the team that put it together. One tip is broken off, that much, but it's big, big, big. Yep. I'm on the top of his back. It's down! <laughs> that is a magnificent water buck bull, Opa. I looked for that water buck because it's unique. His tip is that much broomed off with so many clients. That is a huge, huge water buck bull. Well, and unique is as meaningful to me as yes. big because I'm here for the experience and to absorb, and that was just fantastic. Come slowly up here. We'll just have to climb here, straight, but go and have a look. Look at the mass. <laughs> I don't have big hands, but I can't get around. <laughs> and your bullet sits right on that shoulder. You smoked him perfect. All right, Opa, to a very, very good day. We ended it perfectly. This is a magnificent water buck bull. It's got lots of character, 
both his homes are broomed off. The one on the left just a little bit more. You shot him at 250 yards. Perfect. He went 30 yards. He dropped at last light. This is a trophy of a lifetime, Opa. Congratulations. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Two trophies in one day has never happened to me before. It has now. Yes. Congratulations again on a magnificent water bottle. Feels fabulous. Another gorgeous morning here in South Africa <coughs> at the Sandy Mount Park. I have been blessed for two days prior with the wonderful animals that we've encountered. I'm hoping to encounter Cape Buffalo, which is one of the big three on my list. So we'll prepare in advance. Yeah, so while Opa is busy, um, we've got a number of species we wanted here. So our main, main focus for today is going to be buffalo. Um, we've seen some buffalo over the car past couple of days. Not quite what we are looking for. Um, but I've got a feeling this morning, so um, hard works will definitely pay off, Opa. So all the best. Hopefully we can succeed and shake it out of hand at the buffalo later yeah. today. Here's a bachelor herd of buffalo feeding slowly to the left. We're just gonna get the wind right and then stalk into them. So we're gonna go behind them and they're gonna walk over that ridge and probably bear down. Um, so Opa, unfortunately we found them in a wide open area Yes. and they the whole time 150 yards, 120 yards staying away but let's drive with the car so they go over the hill so we can plan from there because I don't know where they're going because it's all open where they're going so we might wait for them to hit that mountain and then go after them. Okay. Um, there's there's two bulls. That's hard, hard, hard. But the one as they walked away, number three is a very nice bull. Hope I want to check that one. That's full of mud properly. 
The other ones are soft. Yeah, Opa, let's get out. On the shoulder. Reload, reload. Hit him again. One far left. Again, far left. He's gonna go down. Let's wait. Well, we'll have to give them chance. Um, yeah. It's it's. This is very they. That is the nom dominant bull. So they're not too sure what's going on now. Yeah. Yes, but you hit him properly the first shot. Dead. But we'll have to wait for the others. What an amazing <laughs> situation to go from seeing next to nothing, joking about being in the grass and the sunshine, and there they were. Yeah. Congratulations on a magnificent buffalo bull, Opa. Oh my word, look at that shot. <laughs> You'll never get any harder than this, Opa. So this is a magnificent bull. Winter coat. Still got a lot of hair. But look at your shot. But like we say, you don't stop after one bullet. Um, Opa, congratulations on a magnificent Cape Buffalo bull. It's been hard four days hunting bulls. We haven't seen really uh, bulls that's close to our what we were looking for. This morning, just past 10, wide in the open by a dam, we found 12 bulls uh, feeding, drinking water, playing in the mud and the fun began. Um, it wasn't easy getting close to them in, with the wind that was bad. We had to do a big loop around in this wide open. wasn't easy to get under 100 yards, but you shot him perfectly at 80 yards and the bull went 40 yards with a couple of follow-up shots and he's down. Congratulations again on the magnificent buffalo. Thank you, my friend. In previous parts of the video, you've seen me place the handmade knife that my brother Tim made for me 30 years ago on each of the animals I have taken. That represented not only his bond with me as a brother, but for the entire family. For this magnificent trophy, our family has grown and we're jointly representing family whether there's blood involved or not. Thank you so much, Opa. It really means a lot. Thank you. This knife that Tim made me 30 years ago has represented my family connection throughout this adventure. Tim and I placed it on my first African animal and I've done it because we've been hunting separately since. I've done it each time but he wasn't present. This however is how the dream started 59 years ago and so I'm going to ask Jan and Tim and I to place the knife on the buffalo together to symbolize family and love.
right, Opa, so um, yeah, after our magnificent buffalo hunt this morning, after a fantastic lunch, um, we're going to look for some black wildebeest, maybe a nice springbuck, um, there's some tetsebe around, see if we can see some tetsebe, and um, see, we'll just see what the bush gives us. All right, so we've seen a group of black wildebeest. Um, gonna see if we can get close, under 200 yards. Let's see. They ran down the mountain, so we're gonna look for them at the bottom. There's more herds down at the bottom. So we'll drive around, go down the mountain and go see what's going on at the bottom, Opa. The second one from the right, but there's a young one in front of him. Wait. No, wait. Wait, wait, wait. He's now at the back. I think let's try and walk slowly up and see what they do, Opa. Because it's quite a long way now, we're over 300 now. All right, Opas, I think this is the close of a very successful day. You're part of a big buffalo family now. Um, congratulations on that. It was a magnificent afternoon, chasing black wildebeest, springbok around in the flats. Never easy, but we got close a couple of times, but tomorrow we'll come back, look again for them, and we'll see what the bush provides to us. But congratulations on a magnificent day, Opa. We're having some uh, pickled eel and pizza with feta and some springbok salami with mushrooms and feta. And then I'm going to finish it off with some uh, avo. Okay, I just want to, first of all, I just want to say what a privilege um, having you guys at Sandy Mount. It's, it's, it's been so, um, I can feel the love from you guys and having getting a hug from mom and dad and opa every day and I just want to congratulate you on your buffalo which is beautiful. Thank you. And um, yes, I, I, I want you to I want you guys to remember this trip forever and it's so special two brothers sharing this moment with each other and it's just um, it's amazing. Yeah guys it's really I think special to see the brother bond and then the family love and that just carries on to all of us out here you guys are really magnificent and it's a privilege to have you here and um yeah this this night is for you especially first buffalo um and congratulations thank you well done well done, well done. thank you so honored can we be honest so that you can pop the champagne Plus, you didn't bring your sword, did you? 
<coughs> well, I think else. you should say just, that now. Yeah. Yeah. There's just a little thing from. That's that three things here. <laughs> we uh, kind of sort of very something we can possibly use. Oh, good heavens! Wow! Oh wow! Yeah, it's that's amazing. amazing. Oh, with a buffalo. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, look at that. The back is the buffalo. In just in case I didn't know, it actually says buffalo on the blade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Wow. Then there's a little something more. This is something uh -oh. from your second son, Joe. But you should have something special for a special animal. Well, that would be Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he told us, you know, how you how long your benders last. So he wanted to get something very special and whiskey for you. We may be sleeping in tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> We're allowed to. <laughs> yes. Well, I can't say any more than you are the trophy. So, I'll stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you if, if you can hit the light, that will be great. <laughs> Woo! Hey! Woo! Very simple. To us. To us. Well done, Hold on, Well done, Congratulations. Congratulations. So we've seen some black wildebeest. It's very windy this morning. Um, so hopefully we can get close, but they are very spooky. They already start moving, so let's see. You see the four that's standing on the left? Yeah. It's the one far right. But he's facing away from us. It's the second one, Opa. Yeah. But I think let's, it's a difficult shot in this wind. They ran on top of the mountains. It's better for us because there's much more cover up there. So let's go see. Two young bulls, the rest is all cows.
white, white. Don't shoot. I put it off. Let's just take it. Take the gun. Okay. Far right. Far right? Far right, yes, facing us. Reload. You hit here in front. I think the hill was in the way. Ah. Two big bulls are standing in the middle, straight ahead, broadside. You hit him solid, Opa. Hit him perfect. I slowed down this time. Limping. There we go. Watch him, watch him, watch him. He's gonna flop over now. There he is, done. <laughs> <laughs> Third time's a charm. And each time you got me in perfect position, despite the fact that they are so skittish. Yeah, great shot, great shot. Let's go look what it looks like. Very tough conditions with the wind blowing. I checked that blood on the shoulder. You shot him perfectly, just like I said. And that's, this is a real, real, very nice black wildebeest bull. Big, big hump. Tips comes up high and high. Black, black, completely black in the front. And then, yeah, congratulations. Thank you again. Golly, golly, golly. We had a couple of stalks, and um, yeah, as you say, third time lucky. We got to 180 yards, and you shot him perfect, perfectly on the shoulder. He ran a little bit, and he just popped over. So, congratulations on a very, very good black wildebeest. Thank you. I've been fascinated with them since I saw full-size mount at a Bass Pro Shop probably 15, 20 years ago. I know that they don't catch everybody's eye, but the horn configuration, the white whisk of a tail, the mane, uh, something caught my eye. And so it's a thrill to add this uh, to this adventure. And I was glad that I was finally successful after two less than successful tries this morning. After having lunch at this gorgeous location, uh, in an effort to make part of Jan's dreams come true, we're swapping, we're putting Jan with Kois, and we're going to hopefully connect her with the blessed buck that she has had in mind, and a chance for Jan and I to hunt together, which hasn't happened very often. Tim and JP will continue to look for the missing buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> As we're driving down the road, we spotted a herd of about, looks like seven, maybe eight bulls, buffalo bulls up on the hillside. Looks like there's one solid boss bull in the herd. So Martin's gonna join us. We're gonna go up and take a look, see if he's a shooter, try to get a shot. So uh, the adventure begins.
Okay, we just came back from a buffalo stalk, uh, climbed the hill and we found them on top on a plateau. One looked really nice, a little bit older than the rest, and, but when they turned and moved away, you could clearly see he's still way too young to shoot. Uh, but a very lovely stalk. As JP said, it was a very, very nice hunt, a lot of, lot of fun. Any day you get to go up the mountain, see buffalo, get, cl get that close, very, very exciting. Yeah, so we've still got a couple of hours of sunlight. I um, think we'll, JP and Pops will carry on hunting buffalo and then myself, Mom and Opa will be going looking for blessbuck and springbuck. Hopefully they've calmed down this time of the evening. Yeah, nice. Not any male, so that's fine. There's that artwork. So good morning, our last morning at Sandy Mount Park before we move off to Atari. Um, it's definitely one of the coldest mornings of our trip. I'm looking for Springbuck and Blessbuck this morning and then just going to have a relaxed afternoon at the new camp. Um, so yeah, hunting till 12, so let's see what the bush wants to provide this morning. Just like yesterday afternoon, Jan and I had an opportunity to hunt together this morning. Unfortunately, there's a cold front moving in, so it's very cold. But even worse than that, it's very windy. All the animals are very skittish. So we decided to hunt coffee instead. We've been successful and found the magic machine right here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've moved from Sandy Mount to Atari. A recent uh, 
acquisition of management by Sandy Mount staff. And I almost feel guilty because people are waiting on us hand and foot, even serving Coca-Cola on a serving tray. So that tells you how well we're going to be treated. Um, looking forward to tomorrow, we're actually uh, going to be intelligent, take the afternoon off as far as hunting so that we can kind of catch up on loose ends and a little bit of rest and look forward to tomorrow as we explore what's around us here. morning in the new area. Woke up with overcast, just started to drizzle. Um, doesn't look like it's gonna rain, rain like okay. keep us out of the field. Um, but we'll work around the rain. If it's too bad, we'll come back. Otherwise, we'll fight through it and wait it out. Just saw that magnificent sable bull. Just gonna get slightly close, closer. Let's hope we get a shot. just behind the shoulder. Reload. I think I just heard him go down. Yeah, yeah. Yes, this is a magnificent bull. Told you I trust you. <laughs> There's a reason why we left that one this morning. This, come have a look here. It's what? Look at this. This one is slightly broomed off. Oh. But that's special. Look at this. Look how heavy is secondary growth. Pitch, pitch black mane. Like I told you, they never go bare black here, but uh -huh. this goes black completely. Oh my goodness. We're done with your top three now, and we're ending it off with a magnificent sable bull. Um, but there's still a lot of hunting to be done. Not a lot, but we still got some species left. Yes. And some arm twisting to do. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd just like you to congratulate you on a magnificent sable bull. Our trip at Atari started off very, very good. First morning, um, we've been yeah, roughly two and a half hours out in the field. We passed on a couple of sables, 
as this is one of your top three species. And yeah, we saw this magnificent sable bull. Um, we had a nice talk on him. You shot him perfectly. He ran about 100, 150 yards, double lunged him and we found him. Congratulations on a magnificent sable bull and a dream that came true. This is number three of three of my long time dreams. To finish it on a mountainside with my new family is blessing beyond blessing. For my past several blessings, we have demonstrated the knife but not narrated it because it was going to be repetitious. But because this is the third of my three biggest dreams, I thought we would actually repeat that this symbolizes not only the family I have at home, but the family I've been lucky enough to join here in South Africa. finished launch after a successful morning with Sable, ending my top three. After lunch, we decided to see what the bush provides, as the professionals say. We just spotted a very nice Lechwe ram. He's kind of interested in a female that's with him, and we have good cover. So we're going to ease forward, take a closer look, and then I'll make a decision. Looking, they smell us. The wind's not very nice. I'm standing broadside. Chasing the female. We, uh, put a stalk on a lechwe bull that was being romantic with his lady. She wasn't particularly interested, and every time she would move away from him, they got a little further out. The wind is strong today, and with two more good hunting days here on the property, I've opted to pass and let him uh, continue his romantic involvement. <laughs> good stuff, Papa. Alright, good morning out of a wet free state. Um, we're an hour behind schedule looking for Lechwe this time at the lodge looking like. Um, so let's see when our Opa arrives. Um, so yeah, let's see what the bush provides. But it's wet, had a lot of rain last night. Hopefully we can find a nice Lechwe if Opa pitches up. Opa! <laughs>
Okay, so we've seen sun lights where bulls feeding up in the ridge. They're all out of the cold. Um, there looks like a couple of nice bulls. We just want to get close and see nicely. shoulder the one standing on the right great shot Opa great shot there is lying dead <laughs> don't know why I'm looking here on the ground <laughs> That's a magnificent bull. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, it was. The fact that they made us start, yeah. stop, start, stop. Yeah. They, they were two big bulls. They were the whole time in the front. Both of them very good bulls. So I decided which one is presenting the shot first we shoot it. <laughs> Let's go and have a look, up. Huh? So you can see the black on him, Opa. So we look for the black, you'll see up to the neck, to the jaws, six here. Yeah. Okay. That's what we, and then the, the horns, look at that round. Didn't break it now from falling, it, it's how he worked it. The black into the neck, the black onto the cheeks. And that curl. Yes. Congratulations on Thank the magnificent Lecho Opa. <laughs> nice. When I came, Lechwe was not on my radar. But having seen them and how beautiful they are, I added them to the list. Of course, got me in a perfect position on a very nice bull, uh, bigger than representative. I love the spiral wrap on the horns and the black that's on the leg, chest, and then on the jaw. I jokingly said my black has turned gray, but <laughs> we have been fortunate. Part of my hope was that I would take older animals that were no longer part of the breeding cycle, and this is one.
preparing a venison kudu sosati with a little bit of onion and then we've got a uh, sweet corn in here then i'm gonna give you a uh, apricot basting on top of this sosati then you'll love it it's gonna be huh? very nice eh? Alright, so good morning. Our lovely stay of a week in the Free State is finished. Um, so we're heading up to the Kalahari now. It's a six hour drive. Some new adventures for Opa and for the Dekas. Um, so yeah, we'll see you in the Kalahari.